Hi hey everyone, this is a very quick, very rough video, so there may be mistakes, please point them out. I've just watched Atheist Aussie's debunking of one of the claims made by the YouTube user Mr. Astrotheology. His video is good, but I feel he missed a trick. This is the clip I will be addressing from Mr. Astrotheology's video. Oh, and Mr. Astrotheology, I know your type. The use of this clip is covered by the fair use exemption of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, specifically comment and criticism and educational purposes. Scientists know for a fact, if you just Google Sirius, you'll find that it's flying hurtling towards us at massive speed. Now, when Sirius is moving away from us, like, like this, it's red shifted. 2,000 years ago, Sirius turned blue. Blue shifted means it's coming towards us, so it's turned the corner and it's blue. Red shifted, moving away. Blue, moving towards. So here's the problem. The way that Mr. Astrotheology explains Doppler shift of light is wrong. It is nothing to do with the colour of the object, especially for local bodies like stars in our own galaxy. All that redshift and blue shift refer to is the stretching and compression of the waveform of light. This means that objects that move away from us have their spectrum shifted to longer wavelengths, and objects that move towards us have their spectrum shifted to shorter wavelengths. Simply put, how he explains this is not how redshift and blue shift works. It's not a switch and it's not a massive effect for local stars. But there's more. I think that the speeds required are pretty large for the shift of light proposed. Let's do some maths to find out. I'm not sure. I'm afraid we need to use math. White dwarfs are fairly dim, so let's just ignore Sirius B and just focus on Sirius A. Sirius A has a surface temperature of 9940 Kelvin. From Venus law, this gives us a peak emission wavelength of 291 nanometers. This is already well beyond blue, it's in ultraviolet, so it cannot be blue shifted, making it more blue. Let's assume error, and that when this star was going away from us, it was not blue, i.e. it was red shifted. Let's take the spectral range for blue as stopping at 475 nanometers. Then there is a difference of 184 nanometers between the original peak and the shifted peak. Considering most shifts are at best a couple of nanometers for nearby objects, this is monumentally huge. What velocity relative to us is this? That can be calculated using the relativistic Doppler effect formula. This can be rearranged to give this. Now we can sub in the numbers. The original wavelength over the new wavelength squared gives 0.3753, which can be substituted in, giving a result of V equals C times 0.4542, or thereabouts. That's absolutely insanely massive. I suggest that I've gone wrong somewhere, but putting the result back into the original formula, the relativistic Doppler effect formula, which everyone agrees on, seems to give the correct result. This is clearly ridiculous. My gut is that I've gone wrong somewhere, and this answer just can't be so. But it checks out, and Mr. Astrotheology provides no maths for this section of the video. This result is far beyond the escape velocity of the Sun, so they cannot be gravitationally bound, as is claimed. Either they are bound, and the shift is insignificant, so it doesn't change colour, or they are unbound, and Sirius is travelling at a ridiculous velocity away from us, which, no, just no. Or the most likely explanation, this claim by Mr. Astrotheology is bollocks of the highest order and is just wrong. Sirius and the Sun are not gravitationally bound, they do not orbit a Barry center. This seems most likely given that the Sun and Sirius A are completely different ages and there is no evidence that the orbits of the planets have been massively perturbed. Thanks for watching. Take care. Now, for some proof, um, I brought along Marcus Manilius, the astronomer to Caesar Augustus. I'm surrounded by idiots. Shut the fuck up!